Ghani has urged ceasefires with the Taliban before, but this was the first unconditional offer since he was elected in 2014. The ceasefire is an opportunity for Taliban to introspect, sick, that their violent campaign is not winning them hearts and minds, Ghani said in a message on social network Twitter after a televised address. There was no immediate reaction from the Taliban but an international political analyst based in Kabul was unimpressed. It's a one-sided love story, he said. U.S. forces Afghanistan said they would honor the ceasefire. We will adhere to the wishes of Afghanistan for the country to enjoy a peaceful end to the Islamic holy month of Ramadan, and support the search for an end to the conflict, General John Nicholson. U.S. forces Afghanistan and the NATO-led Resolute Support Commander, said in a statement. The ceasefire would not include U.S. counterterrorism efforts against Islamic State and Al-Qaeda, it said. NATO Secretary General Jens Stoltenberg welcomed the announcement which he said shows the seriousness of President Ghani and the Afghan government. Both he and the United Nations urged the Taliban to reciprocate. The United States and Russia also praised the decision. The Afghan government's offer of a temporary ceasefire underscores its commitment to peace as both a national and religious responsibility, the State Department said in a statement. But former Afghan Army General Adi Kala Amarkal said the ceasefire would give the Taliban a chance to regroup. He also said he doubted the Taliban would lay down arms and deny themselves the opportunity of fighting during the holy month of Ramadan in which attacks have intensified. The Eid al-Fitr holiday ending Ramadan falls at the end of next week. Ghani in February offered recognition of the Taliban as a legitimate political group in a proposed political process that he said could lead to talks to end more than 16 years of war. Ghani proposed a ceasefire and a release of prisoners among options including new elections involving the militants and a constitutional review in a pact with the Taliban to end a conflict that last year alone killed or wounded more than 10,000 civilians.